Welcome to the introduction to Humeo video series. This is the sixth in a series of seven videos aimed at introducing you to Humeo log management. In this session, we will discuss and demonstrate Humeo alerts. Humeo alerts satisfy the use case where third-party systems need to be notified and perhaps take action based on results found in a Humeo query. In Humeo, you can create alerts that can to be triggered when specific events happen or when some parameters that you specify are exceeded. Alerts are standard live queries that run continuously and trigger whenever there are one or more rows in the search result. Alerts are paired with actions, formerly known as notifiers, that allow Humeo to send messages to external systems like PagerDuty, VictorOps, OpsGenie, or Slack and to other systems that support webhooks. Humeo repositories and emails are also supported as recipients. Managing alerts is simple. They can be created via the Humeo user interface, loaded via a template, cloned for reuse in similar use cases, as well as be deleted or disabled. Throttling is also supported. You can specify a throttle period used to control how often the alert can trigger. When the alert has triggered, it will not trigger again until after the throttle period has passed. You can also use field-based throttling if you want to throttle only certain results from your alert. Let's see Humeo alerts in action using webhooks. We will use two third-party systems. The first is webhook.site, a SaaS offering that provides a unique URL or, e or email to test against. I will also download an instance of the webhook GitHub project, referenced here that will allow me to script a mock production site with a Linux shell script. Here is my demo setup. I have my open LDAP server running here with these users that will be our actors. Here is my Humeo instance with the search that I will use for my alert. For the demo, I will be using my Humeo alert to monitor the last user logged in. The search is simple. Go to the Humeo audit repository, search for the type user.signin, and look for results that contain the field actor.user.username. Rename the field to make it a little less typing intensive, and then select the last occurrence. Webhook.site. This will serve as my test environment. Webhook.site lets you easily inspect, test, and automate any incoming HTTP request or email. We will copy this unique URL and use it to test our Humeo action. The Webhook GitHub project. For a mock production system, I will use this project with a Linux shell running Figlet. For those unfamiliar with Figlet, it is a program for making large letters out of ordinary text, useful for banners and text shells. In the mock production system, the latest logged in user will be displayed in a shell using Figlet via a Humeo alert. I'm now ready to create my alert. I go to the alerts tab in the Humeo user interface and select new alert. I'll create an alert called Latest User Alert, give it the Humeo search, specify a time window of 15 seconds and a throttling period of a minute. Notice that without an action specified, the Humeo alert is, is immediately not enabled. I'll create my alert and now create my action. Notice the different types I can use specified here, as we mentioned earlier. We're using Webhook. I'll call this Latest Action. I'll go to webhook.site and get my unique URL to test against. With that set up, I need to customize my payload. 
that will be sent. This is the message body template. Notice it is pre-populated with some useful and informative defaults. For more information, you can consult the product, the end product list of variables here or the Humeo documentation. For my particular situation, all I need is the field username, the field user passed in as a variable username. I'll skip certificate validation. Notice here if I wanted to test my action without an alert, we offer a feature to do that as well, but I would just go ahead and create my action. I now need to go back to my alert and associate it with the action. Upon doing that, it's enabled. I will save my alert, go to the webhook site, go to my login screen, and log in as Leanne. Leanne logged in, we should see the alert fire. And yes, it is, we, it works in our test system. I'll go log out here for my next production test. Go and edit my action. And I'm gonna wanna swap out my test server for my production server. Now that this is working, I'm ready to fire up my production server. Recall that I'm using the webhook GitHub project, a tool for easily creating HTTP endpoints or hooks on your server. Here's how it works. It fires off a file called hooks.json where I specify an ID that will be in my URL, a user script that runs, a working directory, and then what to pass to my command. In this case, I'm passing the payload which is my username and passing it as an environment variable, user param. My script is simple. I'm running Figlet and pass running it against my user param. So I will fire up my production server. It found my webhook. I'll copy my URL and paste it in here. save my action, and it's ready to run again. So I've got my server running, and I can log in as Chad. And now we should see Chad show up as a banner in Figlet. And there you have it. Humio Alerts in Action. I thank you for watching and we hope you will stay tuned for more videos from Humeo.